check out my new design for a dual spool holder from my uh, Troxy X3. This can be used on any printer that has 2020 extrusion if you mount it to the top. The base here will mount to the top of the extrusion. You'll put some 3 quarter inch EMT conduit in here. You'll clamp down the top bracket with a with uh, M4 screw and nut. You got two end caps here for your uh, EMT conduit. And you have a, you can hold the spool on either side and you can quickly change out the spools without having to remove anything. Stay tuned for a time lapse print. Okay, so we have all our components printed out and everything basically we will need for uh, this assembly. So we have our main arm here that's going to support our EMT conduit. 
we have the bracket that'll attach to our main arm and we have our two end caps for our EMT conduit now our EMT conduit uh, I happen to have a piece of 9 inch lying around which will uh, suit my purposes just fine uh, anything shorter than this I think would be too short and uh, it's user choice here if you want to go longer go longer um, but this will fit my my needs just fine it'll hold two spools fit my end caps and fit my uh, mount so these two pieces right here just snap together just like that you hear a little click and then can open and close you need an M4 screw with an M4 nut to clamp down uh, your piece so we can take our EMT conduit fit it in there and I want an even gap on either side so let's check this so right now I'm just under four there and I'm a little off so let's do this in millimeters so here I have 96 here I have 98 so let's go 97 97 so I'm equal on both sides take my little clamp clamp it down see how we got a little bit of space there so we can provide some force take our screw pop it through and then start our nut and then as we tighten the screw it should pull the nut into the little uh, slot that was designed to fit this nut and tighten it first and then tighten it down uh, this EMT conduit is three quarter inch so the outer diameter is roughly 23.75 millimeter um, if somebody uh, wants me to design one for a specific other type say a metric type just let me know and we can do that up so that's now in there solid that's not going anywhere I printed this with uh, 35% infill you can print with more infill if you want to make it stronger I wouldn't print with less because this is going to hold two uh, rolls of filament and we take our little end caps and they have some grooves inside so they're a little difficult to put on but once they're on they go on snug and you might have to use a little bit of force so what I'm going to do is I get another spare piece of EMT conduit here and put the other end cap here and I'm going to give it a few taps with this other piece of EMP conduit right here. There we go. As I said, I designed these with grooves inside, so those are on there snug. Those aren't coming off. There, we got our dual spool holder. Let me grab a spool here. Set that there. We got our dual spool holder that we can mount to the top of our printer and we can easily remove our spools or if we want two colors up there because those are the two common, most common colors we print with I can leave them up there and just uh, let me install this on the top of the printer and we'll be right back okay so we're back and here we have my Tronxy X3 so if you look up here at the top I have my custom new uh, dual spool holder installed and it really it looks nice on a printer, it really goes with the printer. And I, That EMT conduit, I gave it a little bit of a sanding before I uh, installed it, just to give it a nicer, shinier look. And then we can take our rolls of filament here, and we can put one there. The thing is pretty sturdy, it's not going anywhere. And that can feed directly down to my extruder. And we 
I can take another roll of filament if these are the two I use the most and set them both up right there and I suppose you could print another one of these if you want and if you have some more EMT conduit lying around you can add another one over here put two more rolls there if you want to if you wanted to uh, maybe I'm, I'm thinking of designing a bracket to go on the back side here if I add another dual spool holder here I might add a line feed in the back so that I can router the filament through and over to the extruder but for now the one dual filament holder will serve its purposes for me and this is how it looks on my Tronx X3 for more of my design see me on Thingiverse uh, refer to the links below and visit me on Facebook at LMG3D.